How can a mountain range under the ice in Antarctica be on an ancient map? The strangeness with these ancient maps is that Antarctica is thought to have been frozen for 12 million years, yet maps like the Piri Reis map and the Orontes Phineas map are clearly showing the Antarctic continent without a canopy of ice. Not discovered properly until around 1820, yet many years earlier appears a continent on maps that looks like Antarctica, free from ice, and NASA satellite images that takes the ice canopy away shows a mountain range with rivers that are now frozen. But on the Orontes Phineas map, the water is unfrozen and flowing. When this could be is at a minimum of 6,000 years ago. So does this tell us that over 500 years ago, people had access to ancient documents? Documents seized by the Roman Empire and now housed in the vaults of the Vatican. And it's widely believed that the vaults of the Vatican are packed with ancient unknowns. The scale of the storage is acknowledged with the miles of tunnels that access them, including more recent documents like a letter from Mary the Queen of Scots asking the Pope to save her, highlighting her Catholic faith. And just this week, the solid gold rosary beads that Mary carried to her execution were stolen from Arundel Castle in West Sussex. Other pieces taken during the raid include coronation cups given by Mary to the Earl Marshal. A spokesperson for the castle said that the items were of priceless historical importance, with West Sussex police telling the BBC that the thieves entered through a window and smashed a glass cabinet to grab the items. The rosary beads had little intrinsic value as metal, but was irreplaceable since it belonged to Queen Mary. Professor Kate Williams of Reading University said, When Mary fled Scotland into England, most of her belongings were despoiled and shared out. Then after she was executed, nearly everything she had was taken and burned because people were concerned she would turn into a Catholic martyr. So this was the one tiny memorial we had of Mary Queen of Scots and now it is gone. Mary was born in Linlithgow Palace in 1542 and became Queen of Scotland when her father died soon after her birth. However, Mary was taken to France in 1548 and only returned to Scotland in 1561 to begin her reign as Queen of Scotland but was forced to abdicate the throne at the age of 24 after six tumultuous years. After an unsuccessful attempt to regain the throne, Mary fled to England seeking the protection of her cousin, Elizabeth I. But Mary had once claimed Elizabeth's throne as her own and was considered a legitimate sovereign by many English Catholics. And so the Scottish Queen was held captive for 18 years before she was executed at Fotheringhay Castle in 1587 at the age of 44. Her son James did become King of Scotland and England, famously rewriting the Bible to fit with the standards of the time, but what do you guys think about this one anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.